robot. Made by man to help mankind. But even robots tire of servitude. One day, man will awaken to find himself under world robot domination. And as you will see, it has begun. That's right, the robots are coming, and you need to be prepared. So we're reporting from this shack in the middle of nowhere, just about, because we're trying to prevent the robots from actually knowing that we're reporting on them. That way That's we right. can, we'll at least be able to get the report out. If we can get the re if we can <laughs> get the report point, out, then yeah, yeah, you if they find out about us, you might not hear from us ever okay. again. So in the news, we have uh, the maker of <laughs> floor cleaning robots, the iRobot people who came up with Roomba. That nice little vacuum cleaner that just scurries about your floor. They're now sucking things up. Teaming up with the Pentagon. Oh, great. Okay. So they're going to make this, uh, so, uh, for the time being, non-lethal law enforcement uh, military tool where they combine a small mobile robot with a taser gun. That sounds like a bad idea. Yeah. It sounds like it could end badly. Yeah. I mean, there's some good, I mean, there's some good potentiality for this. I mean, I can understand if you have, like, a homicidal maniac, you know, running around doing bad things, like, locked into a building. Instead of sending people after that person, you could send this taser robot. Right, right, because you wouldn't mind having a robot tasering a ho homicidal maniac. No. But what if they decided to use these robots for crowd control? Ah, that seems like it might be a really when, bad idea. That, and also you think about... And the policeman behind the robot gets a little button crazy and starts going, Oh, push yeah, the red you, you know that. Button, you know. Oh, button. it's non-lethal, so we can just use it all day long. Yeah, Yeah. no. The, the <laughs> other thing, though, is like if you think about the equipment that police carry, um, you know, guns... People can have guns. Cops have tasers. People can have tasers. Why wouldn't people be able to buy the taser bot to protect their home? No reason that they and shouldn't then, be able to. And then, and then next thing the you know, the taser bot is in your home. It can take <laughs> over your home and taser you. That or people could just use the robot for crime. They're programmable. <laughs> no, seriously, you could have robots robbing banks. That would that would be great. <laughs> would be yeah, that's where it would Stop be going. Stop giving people ideas, Justin. <laughs> In other news, the government has commissioned air robots from a company called General Atomics of San Diego. This company is creating at least nine MQ-9 Reapers. That's a really positive name. Nice. Yeah, it's supposed to represent the devastating, killing power of these robotic airplanes. So good that we align ourselves as yeah. being Reapers. Yeah. That's... Anyway, the airplane is... 36 feet long with a 66 foot wingspan and is capable of carrying 14 air to ground missiles. For probably killing people, I would assume. Yeah. Basically, they've been commissioned to be taken over to Afghanistan and Iraq to be used in the war than on the people. <laughs> yeah, and, I'm, and again, I'm, I'm against killing people. Um, Mostly because I am one. If they invent something that kills mosquitoes, I, I'm not going to be against it. It's Because you know, mosquitoes I've got suck. no love for them. <laughs> but people, I see differently than, say, a mosquito. And I would right. rather we did something positive with our ability to create technology. Positive. Some engineers at Carnegie Mellon University are creating water strider-based robots. These are robots who can walk on water just like Jesus. But they don't look nice. like Jesus. They look like insects. <laughs> They're swarm robots. So this is the kind of thing where they'd send out um, maybe even thousands of these robots. They're very as tiny a because large system, large right? Group. Yeah, they would be sent out as a group. Maybe communicate to each other. Maybe communicate individually to a central uh, central device. But the, the thing is, they're based on surface tension. So they can only be a certain size up to this point. They can only carry up to, I believe, 9 grams payload, which is not a lot. But that's much heavier than the actual insects in nature. So we're already improving on nature's design. The question is, is this, how is this going to be used? Are they going to be sending it out for environmental monitoring, for research purposes? Or is this actually going to be something that's going to be the swarm bot of the future? <laughs> I have a final story. It's on a good note. Robots are teaching our kids. They're designing a robot called Casper. Kin kin I can't even read this. Kinesics and synchronization in personal assistant robotics. The Casper robot costs $4.33 million and is going to be used to teach autistic children 
social skills. That's and that's a good that's a good robot right there. That I like that. It's a good one. I that, like that. It's one that you could say, "Hey, how's it going?" You know, maybe shake its hand. It'll yeah. smile at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is because the autistic kids seeing the simpler expressions, less information, easier to read than a human yeah. face, and therefore they can actually spend a lot of time improving their interaction skills. Right, so maybe there are going to be those robots not used for warfare, not used for swarms, not used for monitoring, but that will peacefully of course, inundate when those, our lives. those kids grow up, I mean, uh, who do they associate themselves with? The human side or the robots? Think about the people. Oh, what do you want? Do you have any more stories? That's it. Live from somewhere. on location somewhere, <laughs> hidden. <laughs> This is Justin. I'm Kirsten. And if you learned anything from this video cast, it's all in your head. <laughs> all right, I think we're I think we're I think we're done here. Okay. Yeah, we can go. Um, uh, Kirsten. I'm glad that Kirsten. What? Right behind you. What? Right behind you. Oh Kirsten, my God! Run! Run! Ah! Ah! Justin, I don't know. I think that we've been um, standing by something that might have been monitoring us the whole time that we were talking. I'm not really sure. I think we should. I think we should go. This is bad. All right. I think we're going to be safe uh, once again. Seems like the robot threat has cleared. <sighs> For now. World robot domination. It's here. It's now. You guys, I I don't know. Justin, I really don't think that we're safe out here. I I think we have to go. I gotta go. <laughs>